Well, the vexed question of Nancy Pelosi's possible visit to Taiwan is hanging over her trip to Asia. The U.S. House Speaker, third in the presidential line of succession, jets off today. But will she or won't she include a touchdown in Taipei in her schedule? Well, this trip is, is as divisive in Washington as it is on both sides of the Taiwan Strait. Politicians and residents alike uncertain that it's worth risking conflict between the U.S. and China. A whirlwind trip to Asia awaits the U.S. House Speaker and her delegation of senior lawmakers. Prominent allies, including Japan, South Korea, Malaysia and Singapore, are said to be on the itinerary. But it is her plans to include Taiwan that have generated most interest. In fact, it has whipped up a storm in U.S.-China relations that has earned the wrath of Beijing, with warnings of retaliation should the visit occur now or any time in the future. Taiwan says it will continue to deepen its close security partnership with the U.S. But residents in Taipei are divided on how her visit would impact relations with China. Taiwan Residents in Beijing are cynical about the political motivation behind Ms. Pelosi's possible visit to Taiwan, a territory that China regards as its own. 那来的话，我们国家就会说是我们就会去抵制啊，怎样怎样，对吧？但实际上他会不会去做这件事情的话，其实也是一个未知数。the tensions provided the backdrop for a lengthy phone call between U.S. President Joe Biden and Chinese leader Xi Jinping. Mr. Xi's warning to Mr. Biden was blunt. He says those who play with fire will perish by it. Well, let's keep talking about this story and bring in Nina Maria Potts, live for us in Washington, D.C. Nina, given those threats from China as well as warnings from some within Washington, is she likely to risk this trip? Well, in some ways, it's very difficult to speculate, even though there is an awful lot of speculation. Either way, there has been talk of this trip for some time, which, by the way, has the support of an increasing number of re Republicans. I think it's worth recognizing uh, that times have changed since the last time a Speaker of America's House of Representatives last went to Taiwan. Uh, in the past, China couldn't do much more than complain about a trip like this. Uh, there hadn't been in the past any realistic prospect of a Chinese military attack on, on Taiwan. So if Nancy Pelosi does visit, uh, and there are big questions, as you say, over the rationale of such a visit, uh, we don't expect a timid or meek response from Beijing. Uh, President Biden himself doesn't appear to be sold on the trip, at least certainly not in public. The last time he spoke about it, he said he didn't know anything about it. And the Pentagon uh, has warned very much against it. China, too, has made its feelings clear, uh, threatening strong and resolute measures if it does go ahead. Of course, uh, Taiwan as well uh, coming up as a topic in the recent two-hour phone call between President Xi Jinping and President Joe Biden. Uh, any sign, a uh, concrete sign beyond the usual rhetoric that they did manage to diffuse any tensions at all? Well, just to go back over that warning from President Xi, he said that... <clears throat> Those who play with fire will perish by it, according to certainly the Chinese state media. Their call lasted more than two hours. It included a discussion of uh, Russia's invasion of Ukraine and plans to meet face to face. Certainly a visit by Nancy Pelosi would unsettle those plans. Uh, Chinese officials pretty sure that the White House's motivation is to reframe America's one China policy. Uh, and that would include in the future sending even more U.S. officials to Taiwan more regularly. Uh, 
so a Pelosi trip does come at a very sensitive time. Remember, we're three months out from the Communist Party Congress, uh, China facing various challenges of its own, including sustaining its uh, zero COVID policy, managing an economic slowdown. Uh, so a great deal of brinkmanship ahead. Uh, a lot of turbulence in the US-China relationship. And I think at this point, the smallest misstep could derail things even further. A Pelosi trip certainly would be uh, risky and very significant. Thanks very much indeed for all that. Nina Maria Port speaking to us there uh, from Washington, D.C.